Legends Never Die is a concert series paying tribute to South African heroes who have left an indelible mark on the fiber of the nation. The series launches uh, with the hashtag I am Winnie Mandela musical tribute show, a production in honor of anti-apartheid Salwat and mother of the nation, Mama Winnie Madikizela Mandela. This will take place on uh, the 2nd of April, marking six years since her death. Among those set to take the stage are uh, Napo Mashiani Langa Mabuzo, Jazz Sensation Zoe Mudiha and Brenda Mdambo. Joining us now to tell us more is uh, festival organizers Pelele Matikizela and uh, Zoe Mudiha. Ladies, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for, Thank having, you us. for having us. <laughs> Pelele, let's maybe start with you. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the concept and, and what it aims to achieve. So um, the concept actually originated in Uganda when my grandmother was still alive, which I really like because, you know, we tend to uh, celebrate people when they've already passed. So it started when my aunt, one of the organizers, Gandhi Bai, had to go accept an honorary PhD for her at Makururu University in Uganda. Mm. So it's a call to action that every person has a I am Winnie Mandela in them. So what do you take from her? Do you take... Uh, being a mother, do you take being an activist, do you take everything, you know, she may not have, have labeled herself as a feminist, but, you know, she had elements of feminism, which mm -hmm. you want to call winism, so it's a call to action for each and every South African to say, don't look away when you see injustices, so take it up and say, I am Winnie Mandela and I'm fighting for this injustice. Mm. And, and I guess uh, when you talk about South Africans and celebrating and honoring, yeah. we, we do everything in song, so yes. it is appropriate to, to, to celebrate her in song. Correct. And yeah. she loved music. She loved music. She loved music. You know, she's from the Methodist Church, and Methodist Church is just known for music mm. and celebrating in music. So she was a person who really loved music, and that's why it just makes sense for us to celebrate her in music. I was just about to say, Pella, sing struggle songs. It's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, she also loves struggle songs. Yeah, you know, but it's but not that anybody can sing struggle yeah, songs. Yes, <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> you don't have to have a Zoe Mudiha voice to be exactly, able to sing yes. struggle songs. Speaking of Zoe, thank you so much, Zoe, for, for coming through. Just talk to me then about, um, for you, what it means to be uh, part of such an iconic uh, uh, show that celebrates an icon. I would firstly have to start by saying that um, it is an honor to be a reflection of a lot of what I believe her hopes and her self-sacrificing is. You know, it is 30 years of freedom this year. Yeah. I, just, I, I just turned 30. So I'm part of the personification of what these ideas of freedom are, you know. Mm. And to know that there is this beloved heroine in the words of Satima Bia Benjamin mm. who dedicated a song to Uma Dizela Mandela um, really it is just a beauty to be able to again reflect the times of celebrating her through song and to be the new generation that is able to do that um, she really has left a mark that is going to be very very difficult to rid ourselves of and mm. we shouldn't want to you know it is something that is imprinted in us and it's something that also reminds us of our human spirit you yeah. know our own resilience which we got to see first and foremost through her uh, and, and what I like about that is is that uh, and I'll ask you the same things parallel in that you, you sort of get an idea when Zoe says, uh, as a young 30-year-old, you know, uh, how she views and sees Winnie Mandela would be different maybe to somebody who's in their 50s yes. and then somebody who uh, is in their 80s, but she's still in one way or the other would resonate uh, with this. And, and, and talk to me about that, So from your perspective as a younger person, uh, a 30-year-old, <laughs> 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 Um, who has experienced, how have you experienced uh, Winnie Mandela and, and how, you, you know, just what she has brought to, for us as South Africans? Well, I would say really to be able, again, to reflect the times, mm. um, I think is part of the job of an artist. And I think in many ways she was an artist in that sense. And not only did she reflect the times, she was very much an important part of the times. Um, that she was living in um, and it's something that I'm able to take as well as an artist who is there to um, have conversations about what humanity and society is looking like you know uh, in this day and age it is about seeing the human experience as it is with all the socio-economic problems that we uh, come to see with all the conversations that are happening a lot of the plights that we're going through 
to be able to be impacted by someone who I saw who looks like me, um, who could be ukoko wami, you yeah. know, in many ways, um, take up her space in that way, is something that is encouraging to me as well, to see that mm. it is an important thing to do and to be a part of, and also to celebrate, you know, because yeah. I know that outside of being this historical figure is someone that we should humanize, a woman, a grandmother, a mother, a daughter, probably someone who was very hilarious, who loved music, mm. who had a sense of humor, who had a way so about them that impacted people in everyday life as well. Mm. Pella, do, do, do we then get to experience that, as we saying, the human aspect of uh, who Mama Winnie was and, and, and what she was through this, this, this play, this, this, this uh, concert? We actually do because there's also some segments where there will be part of interviews where people tell their stories and their experiences with, with my grandmother. You know, my story is different to everyone else's because she would make everyone feel special. Mm -hmm. Like when you were sitting with my grandmother, she would make you feel like the world has just stopped and you, she's just listening to you and she's just there for you, you know. So it's going to be a very personal concert mm. because everyone has their own story with her and everyone wants to share their own story. Everyone has experienced her differently. I experienced her in a grandmother form. Mm. So I don't know her as this you know, fighter yeah. you know, that people know her as. <laughs> I know her as the softest person. She was very, very soft and mm. very, very loving. So it's a very, very personal um, concert and I think people will, will get in and live knowing more about her in a more personal way and not just her as a freedom fighter because there was more to her than that. Talk to me then about the, the, that, the music, the talks and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, um, just paint a picture of what we can expect on, on concert day when the concert happens, you know. Because now I thought, okay, it's just going to be music and then we sing and then we dance and we cry, we smile, yeah. uh, you know. But so, for example, um, one of our artists, Brenham Tambo, mm. will be singing her favorite hymns from the Methodist Lovely. Church, but she'll put in the Brenda and Tambo in it, mm. you know. So it's not just a concert, it's celebrating her, it's remembering her, and it's honoring her. And even within the interviews, people will be talking about their personal experiences with her, like how they encountered her, how she, they were impacted by her. So it's not just sitting there and listening to music and that's why we carefully chose our artists mm. because we had to choose music that speaks to who Winnie Mandela is. Mm. And, and talk to me about that, 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 uh, that, that process of getting a Langa Mapus or a Brenda Mtambo a Zoe Mutika and what were you specifically looking for to, to bring out musically uh, through them? So we were looking for Winnie Mandela in music. Mm. If she was a musician, what she would have sang, mm. the lyrics, what okay. she would have said to people. So we needed lyrics that impact people. It's not just about having a beautiful voice, but we need people to understand what the music is saying because it speaks to who Umakulu was. It speaks to what she stood for. So when we say Nzulu Yemfishakalu, which is her favorite Methodist hymn, we want people to understand what that song means and why we have chosen those songs. Mm. So we, talk to me then from a, a, a musician's perspective, from an artist's perspective. Um, how was it to, because I mean, there's one thing to sing that song, but also to capture and encapsulate that spirit. Because uh, from what Spedal uh, is saying, that's exactly what we get to experience on the day, on concert day. What was it like and, and what is it like to... Uh, just get that spirit and, and, and showcase it. I would, I would assume that for me, getting the spirit is really just committing to the motive behind mm. hashtag I am Winnie and knowing that in us gathering, you know, in many ways where two or more are gathered, that spirit will yeah. be there. Mm. Um, and in, in the same words that Usisi has said, you know, it really is about the messaging in the music as well. I think it's incredible to be a person who um, has taken the time to be a scholar in music, but I think all of that comes to nothing if, if, if the energy and the spirit of what it is that I'm singing and the messaging yeah. of what it is that I'm singing, if that doesn't hold any, any value. Um, and so it's so beautiful to be aligned to this project in this way. It is something that is deeply meaningful to me, and I'm, I'm absolutely <laughs> positive to her too. 
So to be able to reflect that and to, and to keep the memory of the things that matter to us as a people alive is important. Because mm. they say the first death of a person is when they leave this plane, and the second death is when, when the, the last name, the last time their name is uttered, mm. um, um, takes place. And, and that's what we, we will not have, you know. So we mm. will be saying Mamwini, Mamwini, Mamwini till the end of eternity <laughs> mm. and even beyond that. Then talk to me about the music that Zoe Mudika is going to serve us on concert day. Well, I would say my music um, is a music that is there to reflect the mm. times. It is there to reflect the human experiences. And it's been able to do that in different ways through self-realization. Um, and there's an upcoming project now that is speaking to or Mama Bom Tandas, or so to speak. Mm. Uh, but a lot of the music that I feel is leaning into this project would be the music that celebrates the black experience. Um, and, and the ways in which we move in the world, the, the way that we get to be reminded of the God within us and the fact that it is in our DNA, mm -hmm. you know, that resilient spirit, that human spirit that we carry, the way, the spice that mm. we walk the world in, mm. you know, um, it's, it's, it's already within us. And, and I guess it's, it's, it's something that you um, uh, have always been passionate about as Zoe Mudiha, you know, being a proud African black woman uh, uh, who uh, is strong in her own way. So th this would just, I guess, be natural progression for you, isn't it? Absolutely. I am a young, strong, but sensitive, yeah. sensual, uh, layered woman. And I think um, coming from a woman, coming from women like Umamwini Mandela's is also a testament to that. You know, you mm. get to see the different layers of what womanhood is and the way that she carried it and it's something that I see, I receive, I learn, continuously walk in myself. Mm. Are we going to experience some of the Zoe Mudiha catalogue and then maybe some other surprises on stage? I would say come and find out. <laughs> let's see. Let's journey let's journey in this together. But it is going to be beautiful and it is going to be reflecting the wonderful endless legacy mm. that is Umam Gizela Mandela. I, I, I have to a certain extent, I've had the privilege of seeing you perform on stage a few times. I'm and grateful. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, but, but just tell me about that, what it means for you to be on stage and, and just um, sharing whatever is in you with us, with the audience, the experience. I mean, uh, uh, one thing about you is that you've always, you know, gone out there and, and just, I, I think your performance are just something else. Just tell me about that aspect of just being out there and sharing with us. I would say for me, the stage is where words end and feelings begin. It is the thing that is very difficult to explain. It is being able to have collective memories where everyone walks into the space with their own set of lives, their own set of problems, their own set of like things that they want to celebrate. We all walk into the space together, broken, wanting healing, um, walking this world, and, and music is able to then take us through a journey that is very much our own. Even though we're in this shared space mm. of song and singing, it is something that is transformative, it is transcendent, it is... Um, it is a life-changing thing to be a part of and to have a platform to be able to not only change people's lives and be a part of changing my own life in, the, in that mm. experience as well, but to also celebrate things that are deeply meaningful to us, I think is important to me. It's what keeps my heart beating. It's what keeps me excited about the, the world of the arts, the world of music. Spadele, as we end the conversation, tell us more about the concert, where is it happening, what we can expect, tickets, everything else. So the concert is happening on the 2nd of April. It's on a Tuesday, and a lot of people ask why a Tuesday. My grandmother passed away on the 2nd of April, mm. and we always want to honor that day. I remember as the production team, we were going back and forth. Do we make it a Saturday? Do we stick to, to, to 2nd of April? Of April but we decided to stick to 2nd of April because this is not just a concert it's mm. honoring Umakulu so it's happening at Market Theatre it starts from 7 until 9 it's going to be 90 minutes no breaks people can get tickets at web tickets and something we also want to really emphasize is that each ticket will provide a girl child 
with sanitary pads for a year. Mm. So um, we're not trying to make profit from this. We're just trying to make a change. And, you know, one thing I've learned from her is that she taught me to be a matriarch because I am mm. a matriarch. There's no other reason for me to be a matriarch. I am one. So, yes, we're really, really excited. And more than anything, we're excited of the fact that we know that the ticket sales are going to help girl child for a year. One night only? One night. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> one night. We're oh, doing no. it once a year. Oh, and dear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's not good news, but anyway, <laughs> that means uh, people must start grabbing their tickets. Pelene, thank you so much for coming through. So we thank you so much also for coming through to speak to us. Legends never die. One night only, so don't miss it.